I spent so many years of my life working six, seven days a week, over and over and over, thinking that I had to do this, I had to make that happen, that there was no way if I didn't do that, that I was gonna, we were gonna make it as a family, we were gonna survive. And it got to a point where my wife wanted to come to church, and we made that happen. And then I began to realize that working seven days a week, there's no gain to it. I came in on a Sunday morning, I went to the fourth floor, I looked on the thing and I saw, I know, I remember who Joey Vaughn is. I'll go to his class. I walk into this class and these guys generally remembered who I was. They remembered my family's names. They actually prayed for me. I could not believe these guys actually cared and remembered who I was and that remembered these things went on and specifically prayed for me as a group of men. Sunday school's where I met Alan Marshall. He grabbed me after Sunday school was over and said, hey, we have a one-to-one -one discipleship program. If you're interested, I'd love to work with you, Jordan. One to one discipleship program is great, not just for the, the material that's in the book, but for what you learn from somebody who has been down this road before that can show you and help you through not just the scriptures, but life itself. This is the way to live. This is the new you. This is your chance to live. I understand what it finally means to be free in Jesus. I felt led that middle school was the place to be. I really feel like it's, it's a very pivotal point. In child's life. Every Sunday we go through prayer requests, it's the first thing we do. They need to know that they can come here and that they will find somebody who absolutely cares about them and truly has a heart for them and loves them. I want them to talk to me and be open as with me as I've learned from Alan Marshall. One of the most fun jobs I have when I'm teaching is being able to take the Bible from just a story to teach them how to tie it into their lives, that it is relevant, it is God's Word, it is alive. Every week, my wife usually goes with me to visit when she's able to. I went visiting about six months ago and I met the boy I was looking for on the roll. While I'm talking to him, the grandmother is getting everybody from the neighborhood to, y'all come on in, you need to listen to what this man got to say. But before I left, there must have been eight to 10 kids sitting in this living room listening to what I'm trying to tell them. Acts 542 means a lot to me. In a digital world, a digital age, sometimes you just can't replace a face to a face and person to person and showing somebody, I'm at your house, I care about you, I'm here to reach out to you.